Having a quick look at the side of the box here, we see it's got an Intel i7 7th generation 7820HK processor, and it's also got SLI GeForce 1070 graphics cards. It's running a one terabyte hard drive running at 7200 RPM, and SSD 512 gigabyte Super RAID setup. It's also got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Let's get this baby open and see what's included in the box. Try and make this quick. We're not going to make it a full unboxing. We just want to have a quick look what's included in our bundled box. We've got a couple of power supplies. Holy crap. Okay. We'll work out what all that is for later. All right. So that's our, our power supply box. Then we've got the laptop. Get rid of the box here. Comes bundled in a nice bag. Now this is truly a desktop replacement laptop. This is no slimline laptop whatsoever. So in the box we have our laptop, we have our power supply set up, as you can see we've got two transformers, we've got the two power cords, a connection um, dongle here to link the two power supplies together, um, and we've got all our paperwork, uh, warranty cards etc all there. Looking at the laptop itself, it is beautiful, it is a very sexy looking laptop. If you're looking for a compact desktop level performance laptop this is definitely it this is just amazing this is not a laptop it is a desktop replacement you're not going to want to be using it on your bed with all the the ventilation fans and that on the side here it's going to need plenty of airflow to keep this baby cool as you can see you've got three usb uh, 3.1 or 3.2 ports here on the side we'll check the specs a little bit later on the back, we've got HDMI output, USB-C, network, that's our power connector there. And, sorry, I just have to show you those vents on the side there, that is just gorgeous. And on the other side here, we've got another two USB 3 ports. So a total of five USB ports on the outside and also a USB-C on top of that. On the front, there's not much else. It's just sleek, beautiful design. It's gorgeous. Let's open up here. We've got our traditional MSI Steel Series keyboard that we've seen in the last couple of laptops from MSI. The GT73VR7RE doesn't hold back with performance. This has got everything. Let's have a look at the startup time on our RAID SSDs. So there we have it, it boots fast, it looks beautiful, it's definitely not a portable laptop that you'd want to carry around the world or tra for travelling and all, but if you needed to take performance with you, for whether it be for business, for gaming, personal pleasure, you could do it. Now I took this notebook, the old GX700X around the world with me five or six times. It's been to Computex and, and it's been to CES and all over the place. And it survived eight years. So that's the MSI GT73VR7RE. What we're gonna do now is plug it in to our HTC Vive and just see how good this baby is in VR. Now, is it me, or does the back of the GT73 VR Titan look a little bit like the Batmobile? Nee, 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 nee. I got the MSI GT73 VR plugged in to my HTC Vive and installed all the needed VR software. Now I want to show you the Dragon Center that's bundled with this unbelievable laptop. 
MSI's Dragon Center is one of the first bundled software packages I've actually been excited to use. Dragon Center controls everything from the lights and the keyboard through to system monitoring, advanced overclocking, and even fan speed controls. The cooler boost option pushes fan speeds right up to 5000 RPM, making the GT73VR sound like it's about to take off. Cooler boost will automatically drop the fan speeds back down to normal speeds once it detects the CPU and GPU are operating at normal temperatures. With a simple click of a button, you can change the CPU settings between Turbo, Sports and Comfort. Turbo easily pushes the i7-7820HK processor to just over 4 GHz. Sports runs the CPU at about 3.5 GHz, allowing you to game for long periods of time with minimal to no fan noise. And Comfort runs everything at stock speeds, allowing you to have a perfectly silent, normal computing experience. To show MSI's Dragon Center in action, I'm just going to run a benchmark here and we'll see not only how well the system performs, but also hear the fan noise, see the clock speeds as the benchmark's running. And you can see it dynamically changing there. It's instantly gone up to 4.08 gigahertz. That's over a gigahertz uh, overclocked there on the CPU. Um, we're running at 25, 44% CPU power, 13% um, memory. The GPU is really not doing a lot at the moment, but the benchmark is just loading. Let's uh, sit back and watch and see how it all goes. As the GT73 VR reaches 70 degrees Celsius, I'm pleasantly surprised at how quiet the system is, keeping in mind we're running the system currently at 4.07 GHz. That's its maximum overclocking ability while using Dragon Center. So even while benchmarking in turbo mode, the fans simply don't break a sweat. So according to Futuremark's VR mark, the Orange Room test shows the GT73 VR performing better than their classification of a premium high-end PC. On top of that, the GT73 VR was whisper quiet while testing and reached a maximum temperature of 76 degrees Celsius. I've included a link to these results both in this video and in the description below for your convenience. Some of the other settings included in Dragon Center are a mobile center which allows you to connect your mobile phone and control certain aspects of uh, Dragon Center from your mobile and also the LED wizard allowing you to change the color of the illumination of your keyboard. The Sabre Audio DAC, Mnemonic 2 software and Dyn Audio speakers provide the best audio experience I've ever heard from any laptop in my life. And that's saying something considering I spent years testing PC audio for their technologies. There's absolutely no way my GoPro can do the audio quality on this laptop justice. But rest assured you definitely will not need external speakers when gaming on this laptop. MSI's GT73 VR has absolutely blown me away with its design and features. In the next video, we're going to have a quick look at how well the 73 VR performs in VR.